Hey guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I wanted to share with you some of my recently purchased uh, cruelty-free beauty items. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. So I recently went to Target and I picked up a couple of products that are cruelty-free and um, from brands that I've never tried before. And I wanted to share that with you and I also picked up a skincare product. So the first thing that I picked up is this Pacifica Natural Minerals Eyeshadow. This is the Enlighten uh, Eye Brightening Kit and it comes with these four shades. It's 100% vegan as well so if you don't use uh, animal byproducts at all this doesn't contain it and it's a natural brand so it, you know, I don't look into ingredients, but if you're interested in whether or not it has parabens and all of that fun stuff, it's probably a pretty safe bet. Anyway, it's got these four shades. It's got this kind of uh, satin uh, skin tone shade called Skinny Dip. This very light, peachy, shimmery shade called uh, Coral Sand. This beautiful gold shade that's like a yellow-based gold. It reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast, or like a honey color. And that is in the shade Golden, and then this eggplant purple shade called Urchin. And I have been wanting to try Pacifica eyeshadows for quite some time. Every time I look at this, I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. I've tried their perfume as well as their uh, lip uh, tinted lip balm, but I have not given this a go, and I'm so glad that I did. It was $12, so it's $3 a shadow. And you're getting quite a bit of product here, and I would say this compares to... Uh, Too Faced or some um, products that I used before I went cruelty free like MAC as well as like Urban Decay or Stila. It's just beautiful buttery shadows and I kind of want to get their mystical, uh, it's like mystical something palette which is more of a cool tone palette as well. So I love this. I'm looking forward to, to playing around with that. I also got this Pixie uh, Correction Concentrate Brightening Peach Concealer. And this is one of those uh, salmon peachy tone concealers that are supposed to do color correcting for um, darkness. And I've always wanted to try something like this. It's supposed to compare to the Benefit Erase Paste in that uh, Bobbi Brown Salmon Concealer, but this one is cruelty free. And I never got a chance to try those, but I'm excited to give this guy a go. And then I also got the lip color that I'm wearing right now. This is by Sonia Kashuk, and it's one of her sheer or Shine Lux Sheer Lip Colors. And this is in the shade Sheer Fusion. It was on clearance. So normally it's like $10 or $11, and this was on clearance for $7. Um, and the packaging reminds me a lot of the Revlon Lip Butters or the Flower Beauty lip products, but it's kind of more fancy pants packaging, and it's not quite so large. I love these. It's just a very lustrous color. So that is the makeup items that I picked up recently. I'm really excited to try all of these because these are brands that I haven't really explored that much and they're very nice so far from what I can tell. And then I also picked up a skincare thing and this is by Earth Science. This is also vegan so if you don't use animal byproducts you can use this. And this is an SPF Almond Aloe Moisturizer. Um, so it's got sunscreen in it and it's also a moisturizer. So I use this during the day and it's for all skin types. I picked this up at Sprouts, which is our local natural food store here where I live. So if you have one of those, you can probably pick this up there. I think I've seen this brand at Whole Foods as well. I bought it because I was using the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Moisturizer, which I really, really liked, but I found that it was irritating my eye area. So I'm still using that kind of down my neck and on the rest of my face, but not in my eye area. And I only use that at night because it's much thicker. So I use this during the day as my sunscreen and moisturizer, and I'm really excited to test it out. And it wasn't very expensive either. So that's it, that's all I picked up. It's not that big of a haul, but I was pretty excited about it. What about you guys? What have you bought recently that you're excited to try? Let me know in the comments and hit subscribe so you don't miss my next video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.